Hello and welcome to part one of a Brojo series of videos that we're going to be doing a series of quick tip videos on how to improve your social skills and your social confidence so that you can have better friendships and deeper connections and a more exciting love life. This is all to promote an upcoming workshop that we're running in Auckland but of course these videos are just free value for yourselves. So we're going to do it to show what's going to happen in each section of the workshop. I think we have about eight uh, sessions that we're doing and today is the first session which is all about the core principles of a socially confident mindset. Okay, now we're going to be covering a lot of stuff in this session but I want to pull out just one quick tip or one quick piece of advice from that. Simplicity. If you're in a social interaction and it feels complicated, it's on you. Okay. Social connection is simple. We know this because we can connect with dogs without having the same politics, without being able to talk about anything with them. We can have a connection with a dog. So we know connection is simple. So when it feels complicated, that's some human extra bullshit that we've been adding into it. Why does it get complicated? Usually for one reason and one reason only. You're trying to get something and it's not going very well. Okay. The only time that that connection gets complicated, really, is when it's not unconditional love. All right, and I don't mean that in some hippie, we are all one, love everybody kind of meaning. What I mean is you're trying to take rather than trying to give. You have a condition that you're bringing into this, uh, this social arrangement. You're not doing this for free. And because you're not doing it for free, it gets complicated. It goes from being a connection to being more of a debate or a, uh, shall we say, an arrangement of a contract. You're trying to get something instead of trying to give. And the number one tip I can give you in terms of your mindset when you're going into talking to that person you're attracted to or meeting someone new at your hobby or trying to get a deeper connection going with your father, try to give. Not just give to them, to them but give to yourself as well, simultaneously. How do we do that? You need to give yourself a good reason for doing this, and this reason must fit two criteria. Number one, it must develop you. No matter how this ends up going, whether it goes really well or really badly, you know, whether it ends with love and connection or rejection and disappro disapproval, you have to grow from this. So you go on for reasons of building your courage. You go on for reasons to see how honest you can be. You go on for reasons to see um, if this person's a good fit for you and to learn more about human beings. You've got to get something out of this no matter how it goes, no matter what they do. And the second reason has to be for their enjoyment. You have to be trying to make their day better, make their life better in some way. Now you can't force that on them. You might not do something that makes their life better, but you have to try. Okay, that has to be your intention. Develop yourself by making their day better. If you get that right, and it's real, and it's not just a secret agenda to get something, you really are trying to make their day, and you're really trying to develop yourself, and no further uh, requirements are secretly enabled there, then connection becomes very simple. Okay, so that's our number one tip. We'll be covering a whole lot more in the confident mindset section of the workshop. We're going to talk about all sorts of different thought practices and preparations you can do to make socializing really simple and spontaneous and enjoyable rather than a complicated, anxious chore. If you're interested in the workshop, there's a link below with more information. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video, which will probably come out tomorrow. Cheers.